A brutal attack caught on video in the gas lamp. The search still on tonight for the man seen punching a woman in the face. That woman now talking to our 10 News anchor Lindsay Pena about what led up to that violent attack. Stephen Kim, the woman in that video is named Jessica Cox. She spoke to us this evening and says that despite what happened, she'd do it again. I'm sore and I have a headache. For three days I've had a headache, but other than that, I'm gonna make it. Oh, hey! Recovering, but still in shock. She tells us she was walking home from dinner Monday night near the intersection of 6th and E Street when she suddenly found herself in the middle of a quickly escalating situation. You know what? You don't know me. That was a lot. I was definitely shocked um, the first time I saw the video. I definitely could not sit through it. But she says what we didn't see was why she stopped in the first place. She says the man had turned his attention from yelling at his girlfriend to a nearby elderly woman. I just wanted to make sure he knew I was calling 911 and that he can't touch women and he can't hit women and that he needed to be gone and he's upsetting everybody. And at that point, that's when you see on camera that he interacts with me and he says, well, I won't hit her, I'll hit you. Police did show up soon after, but the man was able to get away. His girlfriend did stay, but was apparently uncooperative with investigators. At this point, we still don't know who he is, and Cox says she was told he may only end up facing a misdemeanor charge. What I was told is because he was not arrested on scene, that this makes it more difficult, and because, again, no injury has really occurred other than the bruising, that this is going to be difficult to um, arrest for. Despite the outcome, she says she would still speak up. I would hope that other people, no matter what happens to you, I would hope that you could put another life first. If you happen to see anything that night that could help San Diego police in their investigation, you're asked to call them. We are reporting in the gas lamp, Lindsay Pena, 10 News.